I'm Chris Forsberg, and on this episode of Garage Tours, we head out to Simi Valley, California to visit my friends at Fast Intentions. They're building some of the most powerful bolt-on turbo systems in the import scene. You might have seen us install their twin turbo system on our 370Z on a little show called Drift Garage. Let's see how these kits come together. We cruised out to Simi Valley, California to meet up with my friends over Fast Intentions. These guys are fabricating beautiful exhaust systems and building some of the most insane twin turbo kits on the market. Well, this is Tony, co-owner of Fast Intentions. We got linked together a few months ago to put together our project for Drift Garage. You might have seen this turbo system before that we used on our Blue 370Z. Tony, how's things going? Good to see you, man. Yeah, nice Thanks to see you Thanks for coming too. out. Yeah, of course. All right, so why don't you tell us a little bit about Fast Intentions, what you guys do on a daily basis, what you build, what you develop. We primarily are an exhaust manufacturer. Mm -hmm. Um, build it out of a fixture, box it, big brown truck, UPS comes and picks it up. Yep. That's about 99% of what we do. Yep. On occasion, we're able to do a little bit of R&D and prototype new things. Uh, twin turbo kit for Lamborghinis and R8s, G37 coupe, 370Z as you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and then we get lucky enough every once in a while to do a full one-off custom build like on that 73 Trans Am there. So the exhaust systems are basically the bread and butter of Fast Intentions and the turbo kits are the icing on the cake? Yeah, pretty much. It, I mean, it, it drives us. Yeah. The, the exhaust systems are what pay the bills. It's what keeps the production going. Um, and then when we get far enough ahead, myself or Dan are able to break off and prototype something new. All right, well, let's check out some of these workstations. Perfect. Let me show you. So you guys say you do everything in-house. Why don't you walk us through the steps? Okay, well, tubing comes in, start with the raw material, straight mm -hmm. stock, goes on our CNC saw yeah, here. This thing is real pretty. Just pick this up. Thank you. Everything gets pre-cut to length. Mm -hmm. From there, it goes to the mandrel bender stations. Mandrel benders? Yes. Nice. We have our two mandrel benders. We have a lathe, drill press. And then from there, it goes into production. And then, now what's he working on here? So basically, this is a combination of Nissan 370Z and Infinity G37. Uh, it's primarily where it's mostly built in the station here for the week. Very cool. These are X-pipes. Uh, we basically bang and drill a hole. In okay. the center, uh, Very cool. it creates a scavenging effect between the two banks of the Merge engine. Merge them together. Merge them together, build that low sound end torque, down. give that nice smooth sound, and go Very on your cool. way. So over here now at our Audi station, this mm -hmm. is primarily where most of our Audi production is built. Mm -hmm. What you're holding there is... I don't really hear anything you're saying right now, I'm just checking <laughs> this thing out. It's a long tube header for an Audi S4. Yeah, that is killer. So this is made, well, developed in-house and made in-house every bit, every step of the way. Well, Tony, I want you to explain to everyone what the benefits are of an equal length manifold. Well, actually, what I'm going to do on that is I'm going to bring in Dan, my business partner. He oh, okay. actually designed the you don't know exhaust header. Uh, no, actually, he's, uh, he's the engineer. Well, Dan, like Tony, I'm a Nissan guy, so why don't you give us some of the specifics on this Audi manifold? So basically what we have here is we have a firing order specific equal length header for an Audi S4. What that means is with equal length, we try to bring the gas pulses of the engine together so that they all hit the collector at the same time to maximize the rifling effect. The firing order specific portion of it groups the cylinders in relation to firing order. To get that turbulent effect. Exactly, to get that rifling effect down at the collector, maximize scavenging, produce the most power both mid-range, top end, and low end. Well, now this looks more like a finished product. You know, we see the pipes coming together, getting welded up, flanges on them. This is our um, two and three quarter, so 2.75 inch prototype exhaust system for okay. the G37 twin turbo kit. Yeah, this looks pretty familiar to mine, but uh, you can see you got a little more street application. You got your wastegate stumping in, you got some high flow cats, and uh, finish off with some real nice polished exhaust uh, mufflers back there. These things must be flying off the shelves. It's about six years between the Infiniti G37 coupe and the Nissan 370Z. Upwards of 2,000 exhaust systems 2000. have rolled out the door. Out of this shop? All of, of them coming out of this shop? All produced and out of these workstations right here, That's boxed amazing. up and out the door. So we've seen some of your day-to-day -day work, but why don't you tell us what's going on with this project? This is a new project we're pretty excited about. Uh, it's going to be our twin turbo kit for the Lamborghini uh, LP, mm -hmm. as well as the Audi R8 V10 engines. Right. Um, utilizing twin turbos, um, tile uh, 3579s um, with their integrated wastegate housing, something new to the market you don't see. Mm -hmm. Gives us that OEM drivability, yet will be completely tunable from 600 horsepower up to well over 1,000. Because there's nothing else of V10Es and a couple turbos hanging off the back. Can always use more power. Oh man, that's my favorite part about these rear engine 
side ups is that you know you pop this back bumper off and you just see all the fab work, all the design work. It's just all right in your face and just looks really trick. Yeah, you've got a lot of room, you know, pretty much an open canvas to do really whatever you like with it. We well, see you guys do a lot of exotics work and even some late model, but uh, everybody loves the classic, right? Absolutely. What we have here is a 78 Trans Am fitted with a big block 510 cubic inch Oldsmobile, finished off with a Vortec blower, throws down just north of 1,000 horsepower without the nitrous. Without. Without. Well, that's a lot of power for any motor, so why don't you walk us through what you guys did on this build. To put the power to the ground, it's got a custom fabricated 9 inch in it. We fitted the blower with complete custom kit, not something you can typically buy for a big block Oldsmobile. Uh, everything down to the electric brakes on it to make it stop like a newer car. Well, I'm a pretty big fan of nitrous myself. We use it on our competition car. It really gets an extra punch for our smaller motor, but big block like this, I'm surprised to see it on this one too. This is about a 300 horsepower boost of nitrous direct injected right into the manifold. On top of the 1,000 horsepower. You got it. We only do 200 to make 1,000 horsepower on our competition car. It's definitely a ride and you got to hold on. All right, well, Dan, Tony, thanks so much for letting us come by your shop and see what you're doing. You guys are doing awesome production, killer fabrication and these twin turbo systems are insane. Thank you. All right, well, I see you got a nice lineup of cars out there. Anything you want to let me get behind the wheel of? I think we got something for you. All right, let's do it. After working with Tony and the guys over the phone for several months, it was really fun for me personally to get into the shop and see how these twin turbo systems really came together. We'll see you next time on Garage Tours.